Hello everyone and welcome back to Easy Peasy Delicacy. If you are new here, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today is Valentine's Day and today we are going to make red velvet parfait. So let's start with the ingredients. You can take a screenshot of this and this can help you during grocery shopping. Let's start. We are making a healthier version of red velvet cake. So I am using here a mixture of whole wheat and all purpose flour. You can even take just all purpose flour. In goes some jaggery. If you don't want to add jaggery, you can even add sugar. In goes some buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can add one tablespoon of vinegar to milk. In goes some olive oil. You can even use butter. In goes eggs. In goes vanilla essence. In goes baking powder and baking soda. Now we'll add cocoa powder and red color and we'll start mixing this. We will just mix this until the batter is smooth. And you can see the batter has become really smooth. Now we will transfer it into a pan. This is a greased pan. Now we will transfer this and we will bake this. Meanwhile, let's make the cream cheese frosting. I'm taking some cream cheese and we will whisk this till the cream cheese frosting is light and fluffy. This is done. Now I'll add butter and we will whisk this again. This looks almost done. Now we will add powdered sugar to this. For making powdered sugar, I have just ground one cup of sugar. So this is powdered sugar. And let's whisk this powdered sugar and the butter and cream cheese frosting. Red velvet cake really goes well with cream cheese frosting. It's like a match made in heaven. And we will whisk this till all the lumps are gone. Let's check on the cake. Yes, our cake looks done. Now we will just start plating. For this, I will be crumbling the red velvet cake. If you want, you can even use slices. Also, I have put this cream cheese frosting in a piping bag. And I'm taking this goblet so in goes the red velvet cake and in goes the cream cheese frosting if you don't have a piping bag you can even use spoons in goes the next layer and these are ready and there you go Red velvet and cream cheese frosting parfait is ready to eat. They are really delicious and they are slightly healthier. Thank you so much for watching.